Do you worry that this government will take a back step when it comes to the transformation of the Italian economy digitally? Well, based on uh, the facts so far and based on the uh, welcoming activity they're having towards our job, I would say no. I mean, they're, by the way, my job is focused on digital transformation of the government, which mm -hmm. is a big piece of the economy. Uh, but it, they, they obviously come to the recognition that nobody doesn't want a digitalized government. It's, uh, it doesn't matter what political color. Do we want government as a service, government that runs properly? Do we want government that is efficient? Do we want government policies that are measurable? Well, then you have to digitalize. Yeah, but this is also tough because I imagine that it's, you know, against the bureaucracy that you've seen for many years in Italy. You've been there for, what, two years. Has it been harder than you thought it was? Uh, it wasn't. And funny enough, you say against the bureaucracy. The point is, bureaucracy has no political color. It's always been there. It will always be there. It's a huge legacy. It's, 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 uh, it's fighting that legacy. It's educating that legacy. It's changing the processes. It's a massive work. It's not a work of one person. I mean, there needs to be a continuous plan for many years. Otherwise, you're not going to go anywhere. And this is why if there is one thing that needs to be passed from one government to another, no matter what color it is, it's digital transformation. If a government decides that the digital transformation activity should be stopped because it was appointed by the other government, that's told crazy. It's not the case. We, we are actually working. Okay, but what worries you about Italy at the moment? I imagine you're here. I mean, you spent previously to Amazon also like 10 or even more years at uh, Apple. So you're, you're the, one of the only employees that did both $1 trillion companies, <laughs> yeah. right? Just, yeah. And so, you know, is there anything that, that Italy should learn from that? Well, uh, and again, the point that I'm going to make is about Italy structurally. The basic problems of Italy are not, are not linked to any political <laughs> government of uh, any color of that space. They are structural problems. The thing that worries me the most is that in this era of uh, digital transformation where new technology needs to be adopted quickly, although Italy is full of incredibly smart people, the average of population is not, I'm sorry to be straight, educated enough. If you look at all the uh, of the rankings. We are among the lowest ranking of STEM, science, technical, engineering, mathematics graduates in Europe. That, that's the trend that needs to change. And that is a structural change because but you can't you digitalize that? it. Well, it's, it's, that's where politics come in, right? That's where good politics come in. That's where good investments in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in education, in training, in, in, uh, in school system, in hiring more teachers, uh, in more qualified teachers, in, in getting also the private world happen happening to help the public world. I mean, there, is, there will have to be a different way for private companies to interact with governments and governments to interact with private companies and not just lobbying for its own profit. Diego, we talk a lot about, of course, regulation of you know, the big tech companies, Amazon, Apple. Do you ever regret leaving there at, at such an important time for these tech giants? Uh, I always try to have the non-regret approach. <laughs> uh, I actually would have regretted more not trying this than staying there because uh, this is com something completely new. Do I miss it? Oh my God, yes, I miss it. Do I regret leaving it? No. What do you miss about it? Uh, speed, dynamics, not being the smartest guy. They're actually often, oftentimes <laughs> like in the middle and here, unfortunately, I'm at the top and I like to be in places where I'm not the smartest guy. Do you think you'll go back once this job finishes? I think I will definitely go back to the U.S. What I'm going to be doing, I don't know. And, and then again, it's going to be moving back from the U.S. and Europe. It's, it's never being steady in one place.